It took decades of begging to get the land and material to build the new language school. A dream come true for Katrina Iso, who wants another generation to be able to speak the new language. Now that dream has suffered a major setback, and not for the first time. The school was first vandalized and stripped during lockdown level 5 two years ago. My heart is bitter, bitter, sir. My heart is broken. It's the second time we rebuilt the school just last month. I'm trying to get the children in the classroom and teach them the language. I think people look at me and think I sat back and received everything from the government. I did not. Yeso, together with other activists, started rebuilding the school and completed the renovations just last month. This is going to cost a lot. We have to build new classrooms, we have to buy new stations and all of that. And the thing is, the fact that the land is not on Oma's name, we lost a lot of sponsors and even a hundred thousand rent that people want to give us and two classrooms. So yeah, we have to start, start from scratch now. Yes, so it's adamant, however, that they will once again rebuild and continue a quest to keep the language alive. They're hoping sponsors will come on board. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Uppington, Northern Cape.